with removevirus.org and today we're going to be taking a look at security tool and how to remove security tool from your system and just to start here we do not support any videos uh, on YouTube if you have any questions feel free and head on over to removevirus.org and just do a quick search for security tool and you can post your questions there also the written guide will have uh, far more detail too as well to help you guys out and let's go ahead and get started so one of the first things with the uh, security tool is it is a rogue security client and uh, basically is what this will do is it'll prevent other programs from running and as well as hijack your desktop and basically if we close this down most people encounter a blue screen sometimes there will be a message on there but for the most part it'll look just like this and uh, as I said anytime you try to run the program or run anything um, basically is what will happen is it'll just uh, see good continue unprotected it will block basically every program you have running and it will say oh this file is infected um, you also notice the fake security shield too as well on the system and uh, when clicking on it just brings up security tool too as well so a quick thing around this to help stop this preventing from starting is to actually locate where this file is and for everybody so far out there we have found that it is under the all users so let's go ahead and go there real quick under the all users folder I should say so and even when you bring up the task manager any program in general it will close there is a way around that and that's you can rename uh, if you already have an antivirus client or something on there you can rename it to let's say Firefox or uh, IE or I'm sorry Inter IE Explorer for Internet Explorer and the programs tend to run there too as well but let's go ahead and we're going under documents and settings now for most people let me go ahead and change the way our view is real quick most people I'm going under controls view most people will have this off already don't show hidden files and folders and they'll have this checked too as well and when that's checked you're not going to be able to see the file that's that's actually here here's another one of the fake warnings that pop up on you um, if you went under all users that's all you see so we actually have to go in and go to tools folder options I'm selecting the view tab and you actually need to show hidden files and folders and you'll also need to uncheck this box it do read the warning yes I want to uncheck it and basically we're unchecking everything and that can be very dangerous um, let me redo this again real quick uncheck that yes hit OK or apply and then there you're going to see I'm under uh, documents setting all users and this is basically going to be the same for Vista just the, the, the different file path up there to get to the all users account and all data and under all data it's usually going to be the very first folder there and it's what it's going to be is it's going to be an eight digit long folder presenting eight numbers normally and those eight numbers um, correlate to this particular threat so there is no folder or files out there that should be just eight characters long usually it'll t say exactly what it is and because this one doesn't it's pretty sure about that yes that is it and you can also tell by going in there and you can actually see that now if we right click and we try to delete it's not going to delete it yes I want to send it to the recycling bin so what's going to happen is you're going to get air back saying hey you can't do this the program's currently running there it is access denied so real quick simple tip to do is take this rename it just throw something in there uh, to for all those people who aren't too computer savvy just go down hit rename and then you can rename it whatever you want and we recommend just throw it in there um, do take note of the actual file path though and right now um, that it's renamed let's go ahead and reboot and we'll see you on the other side okay we rebooted the computer and we'll see um, that now you can actually change the desktop back around here and that security tools is not running which is really nice is what we're going to do is we're going to finish it off and delete the rest of this uh, file path here so let's go ahead and I'm just going I right clicked on the let me show you guys that again I did a little fast so I right clicked on the security tools icon and went to properties and this is the path that we were at before this is the file that we renamed so we're actually going to go into this folder here I'm just going to copy this you could just browse to it I'm going to bring up uh, my computer or just computer for the Vista and Win 7 users there it is right there the file I renamed just go ahead and delete it yes 
going to move back. Well, I didn't really want to move back one, but that's okay. We'll go under document settings again, all users, application data, and now I'm just going to go ahead and delete the, that whole folder. So now that that folder is deleted, I would highly recommend you go back under tools, folder options, view, and you pl click on there, don't show hidden files and folders, and that you hide protected system operating files and that that's really the big one right there is you want to make sure that you don't accidentally delete anything that you don't need to be deleting so now that we did that you are not officially quite clean yet there are a few other traces and I do recommend Spyro Doctor with antivirus for all those who aren't tech savvy out there um, this will have other threats to as well the most likely you got this because you had another Trojan virus on your system so if you are infected with this security tool program you do have other infections on your computer now this video does not cover those infections because everybody will have unique different infections on there and that is why we do recommend you run a full scan using whatever security client you want we do have a coupon in this article for uh, Spyro Doctor with antivirus that gives you 10% off it's exclusive to removevirus.org which is pretty cool so I'm just gonna hit uh, um, a remove there and one thing to check out too that everybody should check out is let's go down here again. I'm going to hit run, the run button. And let's go ahead and go MS config. And there will be a few registry uh, keys to edit. We'll have those in our article. We do recommend you check out the article on roomvirus.org. Just do a search for, uh, again, the program name because that, what that's going to do is it's going to help you out and help bring up the uh, exact registry entries that you need to delete. But we want to go in here and this is going to actually be one of the registry entries uh, they're not going to let me expand it but if I look here see that was the file name that I was running before if we look there is the exact location is what we need to do is you don't absolutely have to go in and delete this registry key but it is recommended that you do delete it and it, this is the key right here just for anybody who wants to who already knows how to edit, edit the registry you feel free go ahead so it's going to be an HK local machine software Microsoft Windows current version run I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, why not I'll show you guys this reg edit just cuz I'm nice once again read the disclaimer we cannot be held liable for any actions you take regarding any information provided on here editing the registry can be dangerous Let's look at that. What was it again? HK local machine. I'm just browsing down to this directory. Software. Microsoft. There it is. So I browse down to the, the exact fi file location that we showed you there. Which again. Microsoft Windows current version run. There it is. I'm just going to right click on it. I'm going to delete it. Yes, I want to delete it. You should always back up your registry first just in case, but or use real software. We like Spyro Doctor with antivirus always have. So that is it. That is how you remove it. Now you can just go ahead and clear up the rest of what you need to clear up. Um, you know, change your background uh, back to what you wanted before. I'm going to right click on the desktop, go to properties. Pop under desktop and you'll see it's right there under none. You can change that to whatever you want. Yeah, why not? Purple flower for you guys. There we go. So, and that's what, you know, just select the picture you had before. And this works the same basically for Vista and Windows 7 too. It's just a little bit different folder path. You should be able to figure it out. If not, uh, look again at our removevirus.org guide. And that is it. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope to help. Take care.